Bahrain and Den Bosch didn't play in the Poland event. Will face John Hurring or Damon Hatter. Yeah, all three winning legs of Gadwin Price. I think six visit legs. Inge, but already 100 odd points clear. Not anymore, though. Two 180s. Brenton Lloyd. Oh, 146. Smith, I think he quite he's realised that. Brilliant. Well, I was going to say he's realised he's got a finals and the game changed against Michael Van Gogh 12 legs apiece. And it looked like Michael Smith was going to lead and Van Gogh took out a 1 3 6 and the game swung again. Took a hit. He was enjoying himself. He was enjoying one big Cold World champion. And why not? Getting opportunities. Takes that previous leg 3 2. Different, different outlook on the game. He's not giving in. And he's determined to enjoy himself. Okay, a little foothold in the time. Michael Smith just looking to reassert himself. Yeah, you're quite right. You said Michael Smith needs to win a major. A big TV ranking tournament. To stay in the top ten in the world. And he's only averaging 88. Dipped. Quite a lot. You're going to do it in style here. He is comfortable for Michael Smith. It was a break of throw as well. It was, but that might be about to be wiped out. Because the 180 leaves Luke Humphreys on 41. Business as usual. Superb Michael Van Gerwen on the night, but it ticked so many boxes for Luke Humphreys. He was really tested, but this is ticking a few boxes. Oh, yes, Joe, again! On 7 7, Luke. Oh, he goes for the 180 just because he can. That's one of the highlights of the night so far. A winning leg for Joe Camito. But he might not throw another dart as Luke Humphreys finishes. Turn up right now. Under the minute, it kind of is, isn't it? Oh, started okay here. And that asks the question of his 86 finish. Now then. We are only closer than this, but it is a chance. And it's even more of a chance now. He had a dart for the previous leg. Just a little step back. Yeah, he deserves that. Well done, Rob. This is match number one for Luke. He could have gone another. For two apiece. Got a good lead in this leg. Even more so now. Maximum number three for Rob Modder. Yeah, 84. For a second there, he was glancing. There was a little bit of a miscount in there. Pipeline there for Game Rob Modder. Recomposed, but it wasn't enough. And look, we've seen this from him a few times this year. When he is not at it, he is very, very beaten. You come off the tour, new tour card holders are introduced every January. Gets himself down. To strike back, to break back into the level of the game. But yeah, I think you're right in what you said before, it was Peter Wright. Schubert's home, he's a bad dad. That means... Team. When we were in Perth and Sydney. And that's a one, a real series of down under in Melbourne. Over Simon Whitlock and Simon bitterly disappointed. He's hit three one eighties. All the rewards that he's reaping. Certainly does. And he reaped this one. Double top for a 1-1-3 checkout. Yeah. Oh, it's lovely stuff from Hetta. 
World Series stage, one of those games that he lost to, to Rob Cross. That was in Auckland a few years ago. He was producing darts like this. Well, I took out the 113, so why not the 116? Double top to complete the job again. And this is proper Damon Hetter stuff. It has not been the fireworks that we have seen from Hetta on a few occasions this year. Oh, there we go. Wants to get this crowd involved. Look, 180 leaves double nine. <laughs> He's not going to throw it wrong-handed, but he might be going for the max. And he gets it as well. The top players. Cross shows why he's a man in form. And all his success and brilliant darts. And it's answered with a 180 from Rob Cross. It's this situation. How about this? Stuff from Puha, but that's a classy dart from Cross. <laughs>